So we're coming the 17th of December. We've gone halfway through the league campaign, and we just got a youth intake preview. And the fact it's only talking about a central midfielder as a top player is a bit concerning, to say the least. And only a midfielder, but he's coming from this location. Tivatele in Verdi Tiana. And it's still Golden Generation. This could be interesting. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jared TV. I'm J Lab and this is Football Manager 2021 the Youth Academy Challenge with Sienna and yeah, youth intake looks like it could be a bit of a dud in some areas. They mentioned about the centre midfielder being very good, top prospect. Strikers not being good, wingers not being good, attacking midfielders not being good, wide midfielders not being good, fullbacks not being good, wingbacks non existence. As same with the first midfielder, so Goalkeepers and sense defenders, it looks like could be another couple of areas where we could get some good players. That's all I'm going to say. We like to strengthen the spine of the team, it feels like, a lot. And the fact we've got a lot of good players in those areas is probably a good thing and a bad thing. I don't know, but it could be interesting to see where we can get with that and see who comes through. Especially since we've already got really good talents coming in this team. We've also been able to bring some players into the first team as well. As of late, and we got Federico Puccini, who is well, he's improving slowly but surely. Not greatly improving, but it's not been a year yet since we've had him, and he's improving. And he's actually been a team that a player that my staff have recommended could be a first team candidate. It shows you how strong our midfield is, if that's the case. Still, we've had a lot of games since we last met. Shall we go over them? So the first game we had was against San Bernardeste, and Long throws work. It helps I actually looks at some videos as well, but Alione gets the first goal again. Then Vafana plays it across to Koluka, who actually shoots and doesn't score. Scopata does. 2-0. And it was a good game for us. Both our strikers scoring very late on. And their tactical a 4-2-3-1 did not work against us. Set pieces work wonders. I wish I'd known about the set pieces thing earlier, honestly, and that tells you all you need to know because my set pieces have been my weakness for a while. Attacking and defending, I'm now looking at this and thinking, why did I not look at set pieces earlier? It's been the one area I've not looked at and not really tested and tried some stuff with, and now I wish I had. But yeah, set pieces, they work wonders, they do good stuff. I sh just watched Zeeland's video as well about set pieces and I wish I'd talked about it, looked at it sooner because yeah, they're very effective in this season and it says a lot. I wish I'd known about it before. Yes, I am doing a short corners compared to having a defender near post, but it works too. So it's good to know that we can get that going. And against Semper who actually had a really good start of the season, I was happy with this result. We then took on Taramo, who are one of the better teams in the division. At this point in time, we're unbeaten. We did take the lead, though, in the 8th minute of the game. Scarpato with the first goal of the game, 8 minutes in. But Taramo shown that why they are really good this year, why they've been very, very dangerous. Score from this counter-attack and long passes forward and our lack of pace at times has cost us a goal. We weren't great at times, but at the same time, it wasn't that different. And I feel like... Despite the fact we didn't win, I was happy with the point because we did something against a team that was really high at the table and had been really good this year. This is a team that, for the most part, has actually caused issues for me over the years anyway. So, yeah, wasn't upset by that. And it was a good result at the end of the day. So, I couldn't complain about the, the uh, point here. This yesterday, we took on in the next game away from home and we took the lead after Scafato plays Alioni through and Alioni gets the first goal of the game. 31 minutes in, good stuff. And in the second half, we just started it and I was thinking, yeah, we need a goal or two to really help ourselves out. But Zoni scores his first ever goal for us and that was great because I literally just told him he was being rubbish for the last couple of games 
and all of a sudden he does that sort of effort. So yes, we did well. We could have had more goals. We probably should have had more goals with some of the chances we had, but we didn't take any more chances. We didn't get any more goals, and a two nil win was good. So yeah, good stuff. I guess a team that is around us in the league, so I wasn't upset by that. And most of our players did really well. The players that didn't do way well got told off for being rubbish. It's how I do things. I will find players for being bad. Because it really helps with their mental side of things. So there you go. So we then took on the Chester Libertas, a local rivals of ours. And we drew 2-2 in the last game we had before the time we met up with you. And Kappa scores that first goal. We do get an equalizer in the second half. A corner. Yes, a corner. I love these corners. Sanelli gets the equalizer. So that's good. He's third of the season already. A left back can play as right back as well. We do concede a second goal. It's 2-1 in the 57th minute of the game. They just really do well with their passing. And that's his first goal for Terenzi. And we do cause an issue again. Another set piece we started things from. Aloni finds Zoli. And Zoli scores his first of the season. He's played as a right winger. But he can play as an inverted winger as well on the on the right. On, on the left, sorry. And yeah, 2-2. Two, two. We seem to draw at home, but don't seem to, well, can win away from home. And it's a very strange situation that we're doing better away from home than we are at home. We're not really changing too much. I think at times, I think I probably need to change a few things, tweak things here and there. But yeah, it's one of those things. We can do well, but at the same time, we don't do so well. Away from home, we're great. At home, not so great. And we need to really test things out and tweak things here and there. But at the same time, it's not the end of the world. We've... We're doing ourselves justice and we're unbeaten now in the last couple of games. And in the league, we're now in the playoffs. Now, admittedly, our goal difference is still minus two. So we're not in the positives yet. And goals conceded, we're one of the worst teams still. The third highest, the third league is goal uh, defence in the league. And yeah, Rimini and Teramo are two of the best in terms of defences. Rugia have scored 69 goals this year. We've got the fifth best attack, which shows you... This just come from my... And this is continuing on from our attacking formation last year. I realise now that what I was doing before with the three, uh, the four three one two formation, I was letting one of my strikers come deeper and playing to another attacking midfielder. So I was effectively playing a four three two one, a, almost an effective Christmas tree, but without the wingers. It didn't work. I think what I needed with this formation is have wingers. Or these two midfielders play as wingers. It didn't work. I acknowledge that now. And I realise, okay, probably should have done that before. We're going to play with this formation this time. Because we're playing with this version. I realise now, looking at this, that cutting inside is not good for Campanotti. Because he, he plays down the right with the ball. I looked at that and thinking, maybe need to tweak that a little bit. It's not great. Scott is better with the left side of the field. So we decided to go and do this. And... Oscar Bat is not as bet as good as a deep line forward on support. He's more of an attacking player. The deep line forward comes in as an attacking midfielder, so it's effectively a 4-2-3-1 formation when he's doing that. And while the two midfielders aren't really covering this area as well, so we're probably a bit exposed in the midfield, we're doing ourselves better uh, justice. And a lot of my players can play as inverted wingers on the left and wingers on the right. So it Fits this formation more. Alun is a right-footed player. He plays his right foot only, so it's not good to have him on the left side of the field. While Scabato is a left-footed only. So while he can play as an inverted winger, he's not so great as, an, as a striker on the right side of the pitch. So he can cut inside every now and again, but it's probably more beneficial to have the two the otherwise. And with Adioni having a player trait, which is plays... Runs the ball down the right side. It's not ideal to have him on the left-hand side of the pitch. Because it's just, it's just going to cause issues. And I realise this now. Looking at this and thinking I should have done this sooner. The player traits have done more damage than I think I would like to admit. And DiBiase. Fullback on to support. He's very good at the fullback. And looking at it now. Probably should have done it earlier. So yeah. It, I mean it helps he can play as a midfielder as well. If we needed him to. So very ideal player to have in the team. He's a bo He can be a box-to-box -box if we ever needed to be that position. But we don't need to play him in that position. He's great. Also, 
Kaluka's become a player that's good enough for this division now. All of a sudden, look at the wait. Look at according to this progress, he's just suddenly jumped from a two star to a two and a half star now to a three star in just a matter of weeks, matter of months. This guy at the age of six eighteen is now becoming our best defender. And Kamenetti, if we compare him to Kamenetti, he's just suddenly becoming really good compared to him. And, yeah, he's better in the air, better in the mentals, better technicals, better vision, better physicals. I trained as a ball-winning midfielder or ball-playing defender. And, yes, he's doing well. Yes, defending is not as good. And, yes, that attack is not as good. But And the speed of the matches, which shows you how slow our defense is, the fact they've got pace of 9 and acceleration 8, but they are better. He's definitely getting better and better. He's better in. He's better in the mentals and technicals. He's just as good. His heading is better. So we know what we want from this team now, and it's for me a very big deal. And I have to be honest. I think Kaluka's the better defender now, and that I was not expecting to say early in the, in the season. But there you go. And if we compare him to another young defender who I think can be really good, Serpy, he just absolutely outclasses the guy. In technical, Serpy's actually the better player in some areas, which is saying a lot, but there's not any areas I think I'd want him to be better. If I was to look at this now and say central defender on defend, Serpy, while he's better in the anticipation and composure, is not as brave, not as aggressive. His aggressiveness is actually the problem, I feel. His concentration and decision making is not so good. He's better in positioning. He's not good at jumping. His pace is just he's just as slow in the pace, but it's actually acceleration faster. And his strength is weaker. Tackling, he's better. Marking, he's weaker. And his heading is much weaker. So if we can get Serpy to be as good as Kaluka, that'd be a good sign. And Kaluka's actually our, one of the most highest paid players as well. I've made a mistake in his contract, so he's now getting paid 700. Fantosi is also no longer wanting to leave us. And it's because of how well we're doing in the league. It's literally the only reason. He outright said, yeah, I want to say now. Why? You're doing well in the league. Okay, let's do that. That being said, can I get him to be better at the ball, box to box? That's what you're playing as right now. If we can get him to be better at the box to box, get better technique, passing, long shots and finishing, that's great. And his free kick takes to 11. So if we can get his free kick taken to be really, really good, get a crossing high as well, then maybe we can do even more impressive stuff, you know? Either way, we're going to play our next game. And it's against Ariza. Oh, like, yeah, we we, play, we lost 5 2 against them. But they've been drawing a lot of games as of late. In fact, they've drawn four of the last five matches. We've drawn three of the last five matches. So it's an interesting tie. We've actually got more points than they have in recent times. We're only six points away from the relegation playoffs still, mind you. So I don't think this is a done deal yet. I feel legitimately that we are still in a relegation fight, even if we are in the top half now. Because I don't want to assume that we have done this. We're fine. Either way, I mean, the fact they've literally got no pre season tactical advice is kind of a good sign. I think we can do well here. I think we need to do well. Yes, but Zoni as an inverted winger is probably not the best since he's only left-footed only. But he's been really good as a late and I want to see what he can do. And if he can cut inside and get some assists and such, then it's a good sign as well. He's been doing better as of late and he actually played, he got an assist as an inverted winger too. So he could definitely do some damage. I just want to see what we can do. It's not ideal with some of the things we're doing, but... We just got to work on this and hope for the absolute best that we can keep this run of form going. And I've also brought up Catadini into the first team now because he can play as an inverted wing and he can play as a winger too. So he's the perfect player for us to do this. So what can we do? I don't know, but we're going to see what we can do against a side that we lost 5 2 games at, away from home last time out. What can we do against them at home? They got a free against the first side that we've seen. And it's the favorite of the game. That is a very good save. He's offside. But I, I'm I still good save regardless. They got a throw in now. So at home we're not as good, and we actually took on Peruga using this tactic or one of the variations, and we lost four nil. We showed how good Peruga were, but this is an opportunity to do some damage here. Here's Campanotti. He's played Alioni in. He's going to use his right foot to shoot, and he's been denied by the goalkeeper. Okay, goal kick now for them. 
And we've got the ball back. Barbini, I think he's suspended now. He got booked. But Campanotti, Alioni, Barbini again. Good ball to Alioni. He can play the cross if he wants to. He's tried to. Campanotti does play across. Fantosi blocked. We've had only chances blocked now. Fantosi, Scapato, surely. No, that's a good save. I don't know how he saved that, but he has. That's a good opportunity to get the lead here. And this is why we, I want to do the short corners. I genuinely feel they are better than what we were doing before. Long throws as well. I wish I'd done more with the set pieces before now. And that's going to be booking the DBS too. But here we are now. They've got an opportunity potentially from the free kick that they, we just gave away from against them. And DBS, here we go. Uh, Pocorano. They've got an opportunity. They've taken it. We're not as good as home, I feel. And that is surprising. I didn't think the setup would be an issue. But our home form is not as good as it is away from home. Because we are attacking more away from home, it feels like we're not as... We're, we're making the other team work. But we're at home, they're expecting us to attack. And it's not helping us in the slices. And this is onside. He's just onside, but he's still onside. And it's a very good goal. We're trying to do offside trap as well, which is not... I don't, it didn't work. We're having chances, though, and we just got to take our chances. That's what we're going to do now. Okay, we've got a throw, and we can do... The long throws are really dangerous this year. Martina, it's not the best long throw in the world, but we get the ball back anyway. Here's Antonacci. And Alioni is offside. Any other time, that'd be a good goal. But he's offside here, and the man who's got double figures for the first time in his career for us, in terms of goals, has... Made a mistake. Here's Scabata, who's also close to double figures now. He's got eight goals this year, and he's shown why he's dangerous. And his running ability is also one of the reasons why I, I enjoy seeing him do it. And Zauli, third of the season. That is good. We needed him. He's coming from the bench because we weren't doing as well. And Bozzoni, despite me, despite having good, two good games in a row, he's not done as well in this game. And I think... Bozzoni is not as good in that position. So playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder is probably what I need to do in the future. But Zaldi with the equaliser, that's good stuff. Okay, throw again. Martina to take. We don't seem to win a w at home as much. We draw at home a lot more than we do away from home. We're getting the ball away. And that should be ours with a taking, though, because there's no way for them really there. Kamenetti plays this full forward. they got so many players back. So I've been waiting for the counter attack to happen. And Ferrer is on as a midfielder, as a midfield, as box to box. He's tried to make a tackle, didn't quite work. And that is, I was going to say question, but I think they realise actually, yeah, we can do this. The ball forward, Teddy's going to take this control. And he's taking his time, plays the ball forward. We get the ball back quickly. And Tonetti, Fofana, who's on from the bench, has a chance to score. He has scored. He's full for the season. Hooray for us. And that's great. We just hit them on the counter. We get the ball back and we just hit them. And all of a sudden, after getting the ball back, Antonetti with a really good ball forward. I've been very critical of him this year because he's not been as good as he could be. And he's just done the ball that has just made us one, may have got us the winner. Who knows? Corner now. Ferrara plays this as Zaoli. I think they realise we're going to do the short and is trying to stop us. And... That's a very quick ball forward, and I think they realise because we've got so many players forward, they're going to hit us on the counter, and this is an issue we have. And they've gone and sh oh, that's a close opportunity. They should have done more, I think. They should have got that on target at least. This is a dangerous situation. Our set piece defending, we've got so many players back, and they hit it, and they put it wide again. We love taking on our Oizo at home. We seem to do better at home against than we do away, and that ball could have been good had the players realised what was happening. But again, we're very tired now. And I think fitness-wise is our issue. Kapatu puts it wide. But if he gets on target, maybe in a more troublesome situation for us. But we didn't need to worry about it. And we're now potentially going to win. And again, if we get rid of the ball, we've got the ball out to throw. If they throw a long, if they do a long throw in the middle of the area, that could be dangerous. But they go for the short throw, I think. They go for the short throws and we get rid of it. And that's what we needed. We need to hold on. We're going to hold on. And it's good. It is very good. And again, Martina gets the ball forward. And that should be there. Yes, it is. So we win against 
Arizo at home again. We're very split. We won six times now. We've lost against them seven times. We've drawn three times against this team. But that was a good win. We needed this kind of win against a team that has caused us problems. Fibiasti wasn't great. Neither was Bobini. And neither was Fantosi for that matter. And Bazzoni again. We made a lot of changes because we weren't doing as well. And it made it change the game for us. The substitutes did absolutely everything. And Zaldi coming from the bench as we did for Fana. Did all the world of good for us. As he ends his goal drought of 11 hours. So yeah let's praise him. And say that his goal. It was the winning goal as well so it was great. But the fact we did something. And we made some changes. It worked wonders. So let's see. We're 8th place now. I don't think we're going to win the league. Because Brugge are so such a good team. But I think if we can get the playoffs. Or at least top. At least get away from the relegation zone. That's my aim now. Get away from, get away from the relegation zone. We turn to drop off after Christmas. So if we can avoid that this year. That'd be great. But. It's not the end of the world. It could be better. It could be worse. We're going to go through this uh, press conference. And then we're going to. See what the other games showed us, okay? But yes, we're still in 8th place after all these results. Virtus and Tedder still down in 14th right now. So this is why this league is so competitive. Any team that could be really good could be down here at the beginning of the season. And Karamo are still unbeaten after 20 matches. They are one of the chances of the title this year. And I don't know what we can do. We're now predictively in 16th. Because our team is getting better and better, we're getting stronger and stronger as the team season goes on. And also, I want to talk about this. We're in a potential look like we could be seeing our chairman about to leave. We've had rumors about a consortium taking over and we could be taking over soon. If that does happen, I will come back for that. I don't know when it will happen, but if we can come back for that, that'd be great. Either way, I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys have actually enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys like and share this video. And that you will subscribe to my channel. It really does help me a lot. So anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.